mean, you want to balance everybody out here? start. Thank you everybody for coming. I very much appreciate you participating. Uh, my name is Michael Schwartz. I'm the Executive Director for San Diego County Gun Owners PAC, Political Action Committee. We're a political organization that focuses on Second Amendment issues. Unfortunately, we were going to have this, uh, make a statement to the press on the uh, Del Mar Fairgrounds, but the Del Mar Fairgrounds uh, decided that they were going to actually ban press today and would not let us speak to press on their property. We were very disappointing. So I appreciate you guys changing plans and, and coming to this location. For 30 years, five times per year, the Del Mar Fairgrounds hosts the Crossroads of the West Gun Show. The show caters to everyone from families, hobbyists, first-time shooters to law enforcement and professionals. The show always has been conducted in compliance with all the applicable laws and regulations with a strong law enforcement and security presence. However, Every time the gun show comes to town, a small group of anti-gun protesters spread false information about firearms and products that are sold at the show and the transactions that take place at the show. The protesters consistently state that they want common sense gun laws despite California having the strongest and most stringent gun laws in the nation. To advance their gun ban agenda, the protesters villainize gun owners and purposely spread misinformation that machine guns and assault weapons are sold at the gun show. These protesters also claim that there are no background checks or 10-day waiting periods for firearms purchased at the gun show. These claims are false. All firearm sales at the gun show must comply with both federal and state law, which include background checks on firearm sales, 10-day waiting periods, safety tests, safety demonstrations, minimum age requirements, mandatory showing of proof of residency and age through multiple state approved documents, and assault weapon and high capacity magazine bans. Today I'm here to issue a challenge. If anyone can show authenticated proof, anyone from the Brady Organization or Moms Demand Action or any of the anti-Second Amendment groups can show that individuals are able to buy illegal assault weapons as defined by California law, individuals are able to purchase and physically transfer a firearm without going through a background check or a 10-day wait period without being subject to lawful exemptions. Individuals are able to purchase machine guns. Minors under the age of 18 are able to purchase a firearm or individuals are buying and selling firearms in the parking lot and or buy or sell a firearm without going through a federally licensed dealer then San Diego County gun owners will donate $10,000 to the organization of the per person's choice. However, if any individual who tries and fails to show such proof, they must pledge to join San Diego County gun owners for an educational day about the proper and safe use of firearms. Any attempt to encourage, facilitate, or take part in any unlawful activity to falsify proof is strictly prohibited and will disqualify the participant from this challenge. Uh, contact us directly for details regarding authentication requirements. The fact is that every time the gun show comes to town, they march out a bunch of tired, old misinformation that's not true. And we decided that this time, rather than going behind them and educating the press and educating uh, uh, the public about the uh, misinformation, that we wanted to get out in front of it and put our money where our mouth is. So that is why we're having our $10,000 gun show challenge. And again, we hope to hear from uh, the people in the Brady organization and Moms Demand Action on Monday so that we can set a time uh, to take them to the range to, to, to learn gun safety and, and proficiency because we know um, that they're not going to be successful in their efforts. With that, we unfortunately we had two 
guest speakers uh, who are not able to make it because of the change of venue from the gun show. Uh, so with that, I'm just going to open it up to any questions. Yes, ma'am. So I'd be happy to show you the email chain and the phone logs, and uh, but the way things uh, happened was we're, we're a vendor at the gun show. So we have a booth at the gun show like we do at every gun show. And uh, I knew that this challenge, which is what we're promoting at the gun show, would, would be interested uh, or would be interesting to the press as evidenced by everybody here. So I called them Monday and sent them an email and called, talked to them Monday and said, hey, they're going to want to come and after they hear about this, this challenge and I'm going to you know, make a statement. It'd probably be easier if we did it all at once. And they basically fell apart and said, oh no, you can't do that, you can't have press. And I said, well, what, how are you going to stop the press from getting on, on the property? And they wouldn't answer me. And after I pushed back, they, uh, they said, okay, well, we're gonna need money for security and we're gonna need money for uh, insurance. And uh, it became uh, uh, really obvious that they were blocking us from being able to have this, this, this uh, statement to the press. But if you put that in the context with what the board is doing to the gun show, um, they're not, they're refusing to uh, renew the contract long term. They're actually going to make a final decision in August on, or September on the, uh, on the uh, contract with the gun show. Um, and they're also putting, doing things like metal detectors. So for the first time in 30 years, despite an exemplary uh, legal and safety record, they're putting metal detectors at the front of the uh, gun show entrance in, a, in an attempt to uh, basically harass the, the attendees of the gun show. So if you put it in that context, the harassment that we're getting just for trying to make a statement to the press uh, makes a lot of sense. You know, I've seen a lot of media at every event on, on the fairgrounds. I've never seen anybody have to take the extra steps that they were, uh, after they, you know, said absolutely not, but then have to take the extra steps that they were trying to make us uh, take. I, we just had a fair, you know, that lasted six weeks. And every media outlet were interviewing people, you know, food vendors and that sort of thing. I seriously doubt they were making each food vendor get extra insurance and security just in order to t make a statement to the press. So I don't know what Tim's talking about, but he knows what happened, and his he knows what's going on with the board in relationship to the to the gun show, and it's wrong. Yeah, I follow up. Uh, he said given the So I spoke with a guy named Dennis and a lady named Trish, and both of them indicated that um, they were actually trying to be cooperative, but then when they went back to speak with people above them, uh, they got extremely, uh, they put up a bunch of roadblocks and uh, indicated that it was the board, the 32nd, or the, sorry, the 22nd Agricultural Board that was uh, preventing them from being cooperative. Uh, well, I, don't, I didn't speak with the general manager, I just spoke with two of his employees. Trish and Dennis, and again, they were trying to be cooperative, um, but we're told not to. And they indicated I was coming from the board. Where are you getting information regarding from previous board meetings? This September, they're going to talk about the uh, renewing the contract for the gun show. I understand that, but they haven't discussed it publicly. Like, 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 so the metal detectors are, are, are coming. It's uh, uh, Crossroads of the West and the Sheriff's Department both told me that that the uh, board, um, I'm sorry, the uh, uh, fairgrounds is requesting metal detectors it's gonna, at a cost of $3,900. This is the first time in 30 years they've ever required metal detectors. And they're not really giving a specific reason why. Um, again, it, it, it appears to be a pattern of harassment. And I was told, well, why do I need extra security? When, when asked, why do I need extra security? I was told, because it's gun stuff. So I, I don't know what that means. They weren't able to give me a clear answer. All I know is we'd much rather give this statement at the fairgrounds. Um, but we weren't allowed to do that because of them. The crossroads of the West.
Yeah, tomorrow and Sunday. Are you worried that they're not going to come up with your contract? We're, yeah, we're very, uh, it, it seems obvious that they're uh, hostile to the idea of renewing the contract. I would say come to the gun show, meet our, our members. You'll you'll see some of the best people in San Diego, law-abiding, sane, trained people um, that are participating in a lawful act. The gun show has an exemplary safety and legal record. It stands on its own. Any other questions? Sherry's here. Oh, great. Actually, we do have one more guest speaker. This is Sherry Graham. I'd like to introduce you. She is a member of San Diego County Gun Owners. Um, she's a mom, and she's a longtime customer of the gun show. Please welcome Sherry. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, wow. I am Sherry Graham, S H E R I G R A H A M, a mother, volunteer, certified range safety officer, and a member of a ladies' shooting league. We attend the gun show as a family and have met up socially with several ladies from our group and their mates to explore the wide variety of items for sale at Crossroads. There I have found my favorite t-shirt, belts and a holster, a range bag and a backpack, cleaning supplies, ammo for practicing, and a safe to ensure that my firearm is stored safely and securely when I'm not using it. I, I attended the last meeting regarding denying the renewal of the contract for Crossroads and was saddened by how misguided the opposers of the gun show proved to be. I am 100% against gun violence and fully understand that banning the gun show will not stop bad people any more than banning alcohol at the racetrack in Cabo would end drunk driving in our town. The gun show at Del Mar is a safe, legal place for me to learn more about my passion and hobby. It's a safe and informative family environment full of some of the best law-abiding people San Diego has. I strongly encourage Crossroads of the West, I strongly encourage keeping Crossroads of the West at the fairgrounds exactly as it always has been. Thank you. If anybody has any other questions, I'm available after. Yeah, have you had contact with uh, Mayor Del Mar about him wanting to shut it down? Not directly, but he's made a lot of public statements that make it easy, make, make it obvious that he and clear that uh, he's not uh, in favor of the idea of having a gun show in Del Mar, which is too bad because the fairgrounds is a regional asset. It's not a, a possession of the city of Del Mar, and there are plenty of other uh, city council members mayors uh, across the county who think the gun show is a great idea. Del Mar, because of their proximity to the fairgrounds, should have no more say in what goes on in the fairground than every other city and voter in San Diego. Thank you. Do you, you have any idea how many people come to the gun show? Yeah, it's in the, it depends on the show, but uh, I've seen uh, between 4,000 and 15,000 people in a regular weekend. 15,000 is pretty high, 4,000 is kind of low. Any other questions? Well, thank you all very much for coming. I really appreciate your time.